Hey guys, so I'm in my new beauty room. Um, over here is Adam's space, so he'll his stuff will just kind of be in the background for now until I can get some backdrops. And it's a little messy over here because, you know, we're still not 100% finished unpacking, but I did want to film this chit chat get ready with me. I am getting ready for a wedding and I thought it'd just be fun if you guys got ready with me. So, oh, hold on, let me grab my charger. I don't want my phone to die while I'm filming this. All right, we're all plugged in. Let's start getting ready. So I'm gonna mix two primers today. The first one I'm gonna use is my NYX Hydra Touch Primer. I really like this primer just because it's very moisturizing for my really dry skin. I actually kind of like this filming setup because when I'm doing my makeup, my mirror is right here and you guys are right here. So I'm really liking this. Um, I did get a new phone, so I haven't really tested what my camera can do on this one. I know on my old phone, when I had my camera facing this way, I couldn't zoom in or out, which was kind of annoying. So I wonder if I can on this one. Let's find out. Nope, that's really annoying. So I'll just come in real close. That's all I can really do for now until I get a better camera. All right, so that's that primer. Now the next primer I'm going to use is my L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. I have really lo been loving this primer the past couple days. Um, I just feel like it really helps my skin look more alive. Um, so today I am actually going to my best friend's wedding. I'm really excited, um, to be going. Um, it's at the Cathedral of the Pines here in Ringe, New Hampshire. And then her reception is going to be in Jaffrey. I'm going to try to vlog as much as I can, but... It's her wedding, it's not mine, so I'm not gonna vlog really all that much. I'll just vlog what I can. Um, more or likely I'm just gonna be taking pictures. Alright, so as you can see I look really glowy. Um, I already got my beauty blender, well... It's the Real Tex Me Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, but you know what? From now on, I'm just going to say Beauty Blender. It's easier. I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender, and I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation. I got this while Adam and I were on our honeymoon. We went to a CCO, and, you know, it was like 20 bucks cheaper than buying it at Sephora. So I was like, you know what? I've been wanting it for a while. I'm going to get it. I got mine in the shade bone because it's the lightest shade and that's generally what I am but believe it or not it's actually a little too light for me right now so I do have to bronze up a little but that's okay um I just do like one section of my face at a time because I find if I dot my whole face and then I go in I either put too much on or I'll set too quick because this is pretty full coverage for me like, it's the most full coverage foundation I own. But, I do like it. So, yep, just adding that on. Um, but anyway, my friend's wedding. Um, it's a masquerade ball theme. Well, no, not a masquerade ball theme. I lied. It's a Phantom of the Opera theme. And... So, I'm really excited. Um, it's like a surprise theme though. Only like the people who helped her with the wedding know what the theme is. So, she doesn't want any of us wearing like floor length gowns because that'll just kind of give it away. But, 
it's going to be so cool because they have like these really cool masks they're going to wear and it's going to be awesome. Um, and I think it's just going to be great. Only downfall is they have a cash bar and I'm not saying like alcohol wise, but like the soda is also, you got to pay extra for it. So that kind of sucks, but Adam and I is just, are just going to sneak some sodas in because we don't have enough money for that this week. Things are a little tight this month, but that's okay. Things are allowed to be tight. And then I'm just going to do some strokes down the neck. Just so everything's even. I hate it when... Co Coverage isn't even down the neck. I'm not doing this for color because like I said, I'm just going to go in with a bronzer and tan it all up anyway. But it's just the coverage. But anyway, and I'm really excited for their wedding. And I helped make the bouquets and the boutonnieres, so I'm wicked excited about that. Can't wait to see how they look while the bridesmaids are holding them, how she's holding it, all that stuff. I just, I can't wait. I got a really cute dress for the occasion. I'll insert a picture like over here what the dress looks like because the video editing app that I have actually allows me to do that now, which I think is wicked cool. Next, I want to see if um, it'll let me do that with videos too because that would be awesome. Seven minutes in, I'm only done one foundation. Jeez. This is going to be a long video. Alright, so I think that looks good. Don't worry, you will get a full tour of how my beauty area is set up once it's all set up. Right now, it's not all set up. So, don't worry, we'll get there. Where's the concealer I want to use? Pull out all my concealers. There it is. So I'm going in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I just really love this concealer. It's a great concealer. So just go right in the corner underneath and do the triangle in the corner underneath triangle. This is just to help highlight, and I never do this, but I will go down the nose, do the forehead, chin, cupid's bow, just to help highlight. I almost never do that, but you know, it's a wedding, and I'm allowed to go extra glam, so let's just blend that all in. I don't normally do this just because I do have dry skin and I feel like it might cake up a little bit more. But that's okay. So you just blend a little extra. But you're supposed to do it on the high points of your face, which is what I just did. So the nose, everything. Oh, I'm loving how it looks so far. And I'm pretty much just going a little extra because why not just have fun with my makeup. Maybe I'll even contour my nose today. We'll see. Oh, that's such a good coverage concealer. I love it. But I do want to try the new Tarte Shape Tape. I heard that is fantastic. And I'm just going to bring it up on my eyelids too because it'll help cancel everything out I 
All right, and then I'm going to take my Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder and I'm going to bake everything that I just did. I'm gonna start with the under eyes because I don't want those to crease. And I am letting it bake today because I don't want this to move. I love this powder. It's just so nice and finely milled and it doesn't leave any flashback. And that is part of my goal today because it is a wedding and you know, there's going to be a lot of photos taken. I don't want any flashback coming back. So I did use a foundation with no SPF. The concealer has no SPF and now I'm using a powder with no SPF, which is good. Um, actually, question. Do any of these have SPF in them? This doesn't say it does. So I'm hoping this will be okay. My It Cosmetics one doesn't say it does either. So I'm hoping both of those will be okay. Ooh, what about my Stay Matte? Stay Matte definitely does not. So I'll, I might just use the Stay Matte. I don't like using it, but I'm gonna go in with a setting powder anyway, so I'm not too, too concerned. So I'm just letting this cook for a couple minutes, and I'm gonna go in with my small tapered brush, and I'm gonna dip into the banana shade in my Shade and Light palette to just Wipe it away because it'll help highlight the areas as well. <sighs> it's getting all over my shirt. Oh my god. But, yep, just wiping everything off. with that yellow powder, because it'll help highlight the area. <sighs> All over my shirt. But I've really been loving this small tapered brush from e.l.f. It's just been awesome. So that's that. Next, I'm going to go into my Benefit Chicathon palette. I've been loving this lately. Actually, hold up. Der just said this. I'm going to go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte first with my Royal and Lang Nickel Powder Brush. And I'm just going to pop. And go over. I'm not trying to go too crazy poop just because I do have dry skin. So try not to go too crazy with that powder. But it is a really good powder, and you know, I figure the wedding starts at two and we're probably gonna be there for a good amount of time. So I want this to stay. If it's a little cakey right at this moment, that's okay. Cause I will be doing setting spray at the end and that'll help everything. So now I'm going in with my Benefit Cheekathon palette and I am going to, I normally use the little brush that comes with it, but I actually wanna go in with my uh, Real Techniques contour brush and just go in with Hoola and contour. I just feel like I have a little bit more control with the contour brush. 
than I do with the brush and the palette. And where it's a wedding, I don't want to look cray cray. I'll go and blend that out in a minute. I just want to lay it down on the other side. So I'm going to grab my Real Techniques Multitasker brush and just blend. It's a really good brush for blending out contour, I find. It takes a little bit, but that's okay. I haven't really played with my brushes in a little bit, so... I want to play with them. I've really been loving the Hoola bronzer lately for my contour. I've been obsessed with it since I've gotten this palette. And I do have a single version of the Hoola bronzer too. And I actually got that first, but you know, it's in here and I know I'm going to use the blushes anyway. So it's like, why not? So... Just gonna blend. Ooh. So it's just Having a little bit of a time blending, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna go in with my Eco Tools blending brush. Make sure that it looks okay. I mean, it looks a little harsh in the viewfinder. So I'm just trying. Okay, that looks a little better. All right. Next, I'm going to take my Wet n Wild contour brush and go in with the Rockator blush. I've been loving this blush lately, and I feel like for the fall time, it's just perfect. So I'm just going to pile that on. And I'm just really taking my time. Obviously, 18 minutes in, I've got my foundation, my concealer, my powder, my contour, and my blush on. And if I really need to, I can get all this done in 10 minutes. So I am just taking my time. Um, I made sure to start this video with plenty of time because, you know, makeup can just come off, can stay on throughout the day. And I wanted to make sure I had plenty of time to film this. Just blending it with my Eco Tools blending brush once again. That looks good. That looks good. All right, we're gonna finish the face in a little bit, but I want to move on to the eyes. So I know I already set my eyes with concealer, but I still wanna go in with an eye primer. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Fergie Collection one. This has been repackaged and renamed. It is now the Photo Focus eyeshadow primer. It's just a good primer, guys. It's only a couple bucks. Go get you some. I'm going to keep the eye look kind of simple today because I don't want to be too extreme. Because it's not my wedding. And even on my actual wedding, I did not go too extreme. Let me know down below if you want a video of all the makeup 
I wore that day. If you just want to see me apply it and everything like that, I'll do that for you. So next I'm going to go in with the Naked Basics palette by Urban Decay. And I'm going to take a Wet n Wild large eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to go in with Venus. I'm just going to set that uh, primer that we put on. And I'm going to put it in the inner corner up to the brow bone. I never used to do this, but I was watching um, Ready Set Glamour and I was watching like her beauty hacks video and she, in that video, or something like that, and in that video she showed this trick to where if you set your primer with just a very light color first, all the rest of your shadows will blend better and I find that actually to be 100% true. So I'm just gonna take an e.l.f. blending brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Naked 2. And I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. I will go back in with a different brush and actually like blend it really nicely. I just like these brushes for placing the product where I need it. I used to think these were really good blending brushes until I got the blending brush that I'm going to use. That's when I realized what a good blending brush was. It's just not quite fluffy enough to be a blending brush. It takes a lot of extra work, but it's like the perfect size to put in there. But so back to the beauty room. It's not 100% done yet. Like, if I were to point the camera down, there's like boxes and stuff all over this floor. Um, but, you know, it takes time. And where I'm filming, you can't see the mess. So I figured I'll be okay for now. Um, but it will get finished in time. We just have to be patient. The actual desk portion in my setup is pretty much done. Um, I'm actually working on collecting a few things for some new videos. Like I wanna do the Dollar Tree makeup challenge, um, which I did get a bunch of stuff for, like this BB cream I got for it. And I do need a couple more things, if I remember correctly. I need to get a bronzer and a mascara. Uh, still something like that why is this brush down here I don't know why this brush is down here I didn't even use it today it's my elf contour brush which I did not use I used my real technique one but so still placing naked to where I want it to be in my eye look which I'm just placing it in the crease I'm building up the color a little bit. Like you can see over here, I have it kind of smoky-like. So I'm just placing it in. Really nice. Like I said, I'm not going above and beyond. I'm literally using three shadows for this whole look. And that's including the shadow that I used to set my primer. So I'm really just keeping it simple, but nice and bright because I feel like that's the best look to do when you're attending a wedding. When you're the bride or in the wedding party, you still want to look natural. But you can do some different things, I feel. Um, but I feel like when attending, you definitely don't want to overpower the bride or the suite. So you just got to keep things pretty natural. That's all. So, just working on putting that crease color in. I think I'm good. I'm going to keep it open because I might need more once I put in this shade that I'm about to put in. Um, Let me just grab it. You're going to lose me for a second. Lord. And I'm back. So, I'm going to go in with the NYX Glitter 
glue. And I'm going to do this one eye at a time, that way it doesn't lose its tackiness so quickly. I made that mistake the other day when I practiced this look. What's nice about this is that it's a clear um, color, so it doesn't, and it doesn't disturb your other shadows that you have going on, which is nice. And I'm just going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Shadow in Iced Latte. Like I said, just trying to keep this look really bright and feminine. I'm trying to get a good amount on my brush. Um, so, just gonna lay that on there. Really close to the crease. And I'm putting the most product on the outside because I made the mistake of doing it on the inside the first time and it just made a crazy mess. So, and in this look, I'm not going to be doing um, eyeliner just because I'm still not the greatest at eyeliner and I, well, liquid liner, I should say. And I just really want to look good for the wedding. So I don't want any craziness. I'm not going to do lashes. I was thinking about it for a little while, but I'm not going to because the mascara I'm going to use is going to make it look really good anyway. So I'm just going to pick up some more of that ice latte shade. And once again, put the most on the outside and work my way in. Ooh, getting it on my cheek. I feel like with the right brush, this would actually be a really pretty cheek highlight. I'm gonna put on some more. That looks so good. So I'm just gonna close off the glitter glue, close off the L'Oreal Infallible because I don't want any of this drying out. These are such pretty colors. Um, I'm going to build up Naked 2 just a little bit more before I go in and blend everything. So I'm just going to go back in with my e.l.f. Blend, uh, blending brush, Naked 2, and just work it a little bit more. So I feel like I lost a little bit when I put on the Ice Latte shadow, which is fine because it's just makeup. You can go back in and fix it up. Um... I should put tape on, but don't ask me. So just building up a little a bit more on both sides. I feel like I put a major dent in this Naked 2 palette, in this Naked 2 color. I've actually really grown to love this palette. It's really nice. I feel like it's very versatile and you can do a lot with it. All right, so now I'm just going to take my Wet n Wild crease brush and I'm going to blend, 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 blend. I'm gonna blend over the infallible shadow just so it doesn't look so chunky. Then going up into the crease and blending out the crease color. looking really good. So again, just blending over the infallible color so it doesn't look so chunky and going up into the crease. I can't wait to see how the wedding looks. I, I've never been to the Cathedral of the Pines myself, but I've heard that it's gorgeous. So I was supposed to go one year actually with the friend who's getting married today, but um, we woke up late and there was a lot of traffic and we just weren't going to be able to make it. So instead we pulled over on the, uh, on the off ramp and took pictures in front of a really pretty like stone in gowns. <laughs> so 
All right, I think that's all I need to do for blending. So, kyo kyo, put all my eye brushes in my clean me drawer. I'm gonna disappear again for a minute because I'm gonna put this back and I'm gonna grab the bronzer. I'm gonna use to bronze up my face. So, I'm going in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I find this shade just works and I'm going in with the shade Light Bronzer. I find this works very well for my skin tone. And at, you might not be able to tell just because of my shirt, but it does not match my neck currently or the rest of my body. So I'm just going to bronze up a little bit. Hopefully make it match my skin a little bit more. Just... Focus it, focus it. Come down here. Just kind of make it look good. Bring it down the neck, because I did bring the foundation down my neck. And just on my chest a little bit, not not too much, just because my neck is very tan as it is, but I just wanted to bring it down, especially on my, down here, because I have such a weird tan line currently from my bathing suit. That's okay. So now that I'm good bronzed and glowing, just kidding. Um... What do I want to do next? Oh, I'm, I want to contour my nose. Let's contour my nose. So I'm going to contour my nose. Where is it? I'm going to use the Professional Eye Crease Brush. It's a little bit tiny. It's actually a lot tinier than the actual e.l.f. blending brush. I don't know if you can see that. But it is smaller. So I'm going to use that to contour my nose. Now, I don't really do this. So wish me luck. Pop. I'm just going to pop it, take off the excess, and go up, bring it down. Pop, excess, and once again. Make it look like you can't breathe. As Miss Jeffree Star would say. I think that's not like intense enough. Like as weird as that sounds. <laughs> and again, I've also been watching a lot of Jeffree Star videos. And let's be honest, his makeup is intense. So just working on that. That looks so weird. Okay, I'm gonna take the e.l.f. contour brush and just blend that out. I just felt like contouring my nose today. Don't ask me why, I just did. And I'm just going to go in with the blender. Oh, geez. I feel like that may have just ruined it, but I'll help blend out the color some more. Make it look a little bit more natural. What do you guys think? First attempt ever of contouring my nose, and I feel like it definitely looks thinner, and it's weird. <laughs> um, so, ah, it's weird. And because it's a wedding and we're going to be taking lots of pictures, I'm just going to go in with this brush and contour my double chin. All you got to do really is just put dark powder down here. And like you look in the mirror, 
and your double chin just disappears. Which is okay by me. Just blend that out with my powder brush by Royal and Lang Nickel. 35 minutes long, oh my god guys. I don't even know why this is taking so long. So as you can see, like it makes it a little less noticeable. Um, which I'm okay with. So, let's put that away before I start going crazy with the contour. What's next, my neck? Just kidding. I would never do that. I really like this brush for contouring the nose, though. I feel like I just need to blend that out a little bit more. Okay. Maybe... Like I said, I went in on the wrong side of the beauty blender. You touch that up, blend it out, and we're good. Okay. I'm actually going to keep this separate from the rest of my eye brushes right now. I want to get more of these. That was so nice for contouring, but I also like it for like the very precise work in my crease. So next we're going to go to highlight. What highlight do I want to use? Mm, let's go to my drawer of highlights. I'm actually just going to use my hard candy tiki one because I don't want to go too crazy, guys. It's not my wedding. That is not the right brush. Are you the right brush or not the right brush? Where's the right brush? Found the right brush. No. <sighs> I bought a highlighting brush from e.l.f. that I want to use. Where is it? It's a small taper. That's another blush brush. Guys, like, where is it? It disappeared! What? Back here. Okay. My brushes need to stop messing with my head. No, truth is I need to get more brush holders is what I need to do. Need one for specifically for like blush brushes, one specifically for stipple slash blending brushes, one specifically for like highlight, like, although I probably shouldn't get one specifically for highlight because this is my only highlight brush, so I could probably just stick this in with something else. Although I do like using my Real Techniques contour brush for highlighting sometimes, but so I'm just highlighting. It's a really soft highlight, but it still gives the effect that you want. So, that's good. So, let's take a look. That's wicked pretty. And I'm actually gonna bring it down the nose, which I never do. Do my cubist bow. I'm like doing new things today. Why not? And on my chin. I never contoured like under my lip. I wanted to try that today. Give me one moment. I know, I'm just trying all the new things today and it's really, really confusing. So let's take that back out because I need, I need the hula. I need the hula. And we'll go back in with this because it works so well for the nose. I'm sure we'll. Nicely for the lip. It's just supposed to make your lips look poutier. I feel like I haven't looked at the camera at all. I'm sorry. And then I'm just going to go back in with the e.l.f. contour brush. And blend that out. I feel like that worked. What? All right, enough with the contouring because I, I have reached that point now where it's like, okay, 
Now are you going to contour your neck? But oh, literally don't have enough room for all my brushes. Let's put it there. Hopefully it won't get lost again. So let's put on some brow gel. I'm going to use my NYX Control Freak just because it's the best one I have. I'll brush my hairs out with just a regular spoolie first. Forty minutes, guys. Like, why does it take me so long to get ready? Maybe it's because I'm chatting with you guys. Normally, I don't chat. I just do. So I blame you. I'm kidding. I love you guys. Look at that highlight, though. Why have I, like, barely used this highlight? What? Well, well, barely used. When I first got, I used it all the time, and then just like more highlights have gone come into my life. You know how it is. So the I'm going in with two mascaras, one for my upper eyelashes and one for my bottoms. Actually, I don't need it one. Uh, I might because I am going to put some liner on the bottom. So yeah, I'm going to need it. So I'm gonna put ColourPop Swerve on my tight line. This is just to help the lashes look thicker. If you have any tips for how to tight line, because I always have trouble once I start going in more, please leave them down below. Wasn't too bad today. I always have an easier time with this eye. And then I'm going to use the ColourPop eyeliner in Crybaby on my waterline this is like a really light purple color so it like brings my green eyes out but at the same time it does the same effect as the nude liner trick which i like because it's just like a tint of purple so same effect but it really brings out the green. Like, I don't know if you can tell. But. I also have been liking um, Colourbop's Mr. Bing lately. It's in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. I've been loving that one too. But I just want to keep this like. Like I said, not very dramatic. So. Gonna go in with my lash curler and curl my lashes. This is a waterproof one, because I know me and I'm probably gonna cry. So, what I like to do with this mascara is follow the instructions on how to apply it. So you take it like this first, coat your lashes. And I feel like it does such a good job. And I'm getting my hair in the way, but And then you turn it around and this will help as well. This is the way that they recommend you to use it and I find it's literally the best way. 
Ooh, I'm gonna fix that up. But look at that, like, this is honestly the best mascara I have ever used so far in my life. Not gonna lie. So as you can see, I got some mascara on my eyelid. I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna go in with some makeup remover. And remove that. And if any of you are wondering what brand this eyelash curler is, it's just the e.l.f. one. Oh my god, 45 minutes. Ah! I'm gonna finish my eyelashes off camera so this isn't so long. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. My eyelashes are done, both bottom and top. And my eyeliner's done and everything. So last but by no means least is lips. And so I'm gonna go in with my lip liner by Wet n Wild in the color Willow. I'm just gonna fill them in completely. So that's just what Willow looks like on the lips, and I'm gonna go over that with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Celebrity Skin. Oh wait, I went a little overboard applying it, but it's okay. So this is the final look that I'm wearing to the wedding tonight. And I hope you liked it. And I hope you like the format of just sitting down and chit-chatting with me. And I can't wait to talk to you guys later. Bye. Mwah.